Yo, what is going on YouTube? It is OG and today we're going to be covering the gameplay from the Duo Showdown League that myself and Ashlyn are entered in together as Team Puffins. Um, pretty cute name, I know, right? We were going for the Koalas, but unfortunately it was a name draft and it did get taken before us. But, you know, Puffins are a really good consecutive prize. So the first week we kind of, <laughs> we tanked it like a little bit. Um, I think we finished fourth in our group and like every week the groups are different. Like. 25 teams qualify for the league and they just like rotate groups. So the second week we were definitely looking to kind of come back from um, coming in almost last in our group. So we could only like really go up, um, hopefully. But we're gonna be covering those games today. And if you guys like it, I'll like cover the games every week. Usually um, the gameplay is gonna be posted on mine and Bobby's joint channel because I play with them for like literally everything besides this. But um, Team Puffin's gameplay is gonna be on this channel. So let's get into the games. All right, guys, game number one, I believe this map is Treasure Hunt. So a few things that you guys need to know, there are bans in this league. So um, there's three community bans, I believe. And this week, the bans were Carl, Sandy, and Daryl. And then Mr. P and B are banned for the entire season. 8-bit extra life is. That's why I'm not using extra life. Um, so Ash's strat is kind of like play it safe, like go to the outside. And we tried that last week. And, you know, it worked okay sometimes, but... There would always just be one like powerhouse team that would have like 10 power ups. Um, so I'm like, yo, I think like let's try mixing it up a little bit. And you can see we go straight for the middle here and we get six power ups right off the bat, but we are getting pinched like pretty hard here. And it doesn't matter about power ups really when they have a Brock and an 8 bit and like just constant gene poke. So you can see we're getting pinched really hard here. And I'm trying to like just make it so I can regen a little bit. Um, Ash is trying to tank for me a little bit. And unfortunately, I do just get clipped. Obviously, 8 bit. He's so slow, um, but you know, it's still worth in my opinion because Ash is up with nine power ups and she's like slowly building up her super. Um, I think I got my super, so pretty much when I come back up, we just need to like fight our way through Squashy's team. And oh, they, they were going for us the entire like match, it was pretty brutal. So I'm gonna kind of a pointless turret, I realized like after I placed it, but um, <laughs> you know, we do accomplish what we were like set out to do. And we are going to fight our way back into the middle slowly. So now we're just kind of like trying to find a team to pick off. And I notice a team above us right here, I think. And okay. So I think I see the bow and me and Ash just try pinching him. And also nice pull from Ash there. But how scoring works in this league. So it's not just like placements. Um, and you can see I just like wasted another dirt. Um, but it's not placements. It's also like kills and death. They like affect it as well so one kill is one point one death is minus one point and i think first you get like five points second four points third you, you guys get how it goes um so you want to be aggro too and you can see ash picks up another kill and another one she's kind of popping off this game um i'm getting 2v1 down here but i will drop my turret defensively and fortunately ash does get pulled she gets a kill but she does get taken out and i get really close to taking out the brock i do take out the brock and then i just get like one shot by um gene and unfortunately we didn't even come second that game and i think we like kind of popped off well mainly ash but we did get third um and you know it's a decent start i think we got like i want to say like six points or something like that so it was definitely a better start than last time because last week we finished with like nine points in like five games all right guys game number two this one is on safety center and this map looks literally exactly the same as the last map um so we were gonna rush the mid but it wasn't as juicy as last time so we kind of like i don't know we get caught in like another really awkward position because these guys get like all the middle boxes and i guess there were three but you know eight bits like really slow so i tried pinching them just to get them away from us and then squashy again they're just like they won't leave us alone <laughs> so crow is just so annoying for eight bit because i'm so slow and it's just constant like poke um, so we're not like in the best spot right now. I want to get over here so we can just be shooting up the entire time, but I'm getting pinched and you know, they're going for us like pretty hard. And then the Brock just gets in. I think Ash is, she saw a box or something down there. Um, but we kind of want one of the teams to forget about us at this point. And then we run into another team. So now we're like, kind of like stuck on the odd side of like three teams and we're just getting like poked out really hard kind of just praying like one of these teams like fight each other and just forget about us and then we can like get some position back and you know squashy i almost i get him pretty low um but it's just he can back off and like it takes a lot longer for me to regen and the gene and the crow it's just so much poke 
Um, so I'm gonna bait out Zulan's pull here. I think I try baiting him out. Um, yeah, so I'll bait it out, but again, there's not like very many places for us to go. And you know, we did manage to like kind of wait it out till we got third, I guess. Um, I actually almost take out the gene. I didn't realize it was that close. And now it's all kind of up to Ash, and she's just <laughs> trying to hang on in that little corner. Um, but it's not it's not looking very good. Squashy and Zulan are just kind of hanging out. And I do spawn in, but I think that's actually bad for us because, like I said, deaths like do affect a place. Um, and I don't know. It just it didn't go very well. And you can see these guys are just really ahead at this point in the game. So Squashy and Zulan do pick up second, I think. Yeah. So they'll pick up second and you know nice little pro jump there got to go out fighting but uh we just got in a really bad spot that game i think all right guys game number three core crumble um so we're gonna switch up the comp this time and we'll go with a tick and a gene um so i want to get these boxes and just because we did get really behind that last game so i was trying to be like super aggro and just get boxes right off the bat and i think i saw one more Maybe, uh, maybe I'm thinking of a different game. Anyways, so three boxes off the start. That's actually a pretty good start, but we're kind of um, just feeling out where everyone is on the map at this point. And we have Tick, so it's we have a really pokey comp. Uh, this time I'm on Gene, and you know I'm not. I mean, all you have to do is auto win pretty much. <laughs> but <laughs> you know, it's just really about positioning. I've been finding in Duo Showdown, which I'm sure a lot of you already know. Um, I think I have like 200 duo showdown wins. Ash is actually like really sweaty. She has like 2000 um, So that's actually like the only reason why I chose her just for the free carries pretty much um, <laughs> But you can see I'm like, oh my god, it's Zulin and Squashy like let's just like kill them like They've been so annoying the past two games So we'll take out Zulin and I'm just like immediately like looking for Squashy and he's on the other side of the map though And he will get taken out. So I'm like, okay good like mission accomplished like we got our revenge um and we're actually looking pretty good right now. We have five. These guys do have seven. Um, so we don't want to go head to head with them pretty much. We want to find the other team and just hopefully get a kill or two off of them and steal their power ups or either pinch this team with them. And, you know, it's looking kind of good because we don't know where they are at this point. So we're assuming they're like on the other side of the map, just hiding in a bush or something. But they're right above us hiding in a bush um, and they're going to have to come down and they do go for us instead of the other team, which um you know they get pinched over by us so i think we'll just go for the kills and we do pick up both kills hopefully maybe i think ash gets the fadeaway shot yeah she gets the fadeaway shot and um luckily we would have finished third if she didn't get that and we just got pinched again but they did have more power-ups and it's like they had positioning too so second and like a few kills is like totally fine all right guys game number four so this map's pretty similar to the last one as well so we're gonna do the same comp um it worked out pretty good like i said we didn't get first but i wanted to be aggro and just get boxes squashy <laughs> i think he's holding the grudge about the last game um which is fine you know it it gets like a little more personal when you can see their names and there's like options to who to kill so we're gonna be really aggro and just try taking them out um obviously we want to pick up those kills so it's like you got to find a balance right you don't want to like screw yourself over but you don't want to just be passive and not get any points and squashy and zulin actually managed to get a lot of boxes so we're getting pinched right now and we're getting zoned out really hard uh the tick is just super spammy so <laughs> I just wanted to get a kill. Um, I do end up getting Squashy a second kill there though, so I kinda ended up helping him. Um, in retrospect, I should've just ran at them and probably died because there's no way I'm getting out of that. So I guess we'll just spectate their game and like see how it goes. So you can see they're kinda cleaning up. The bull was actually like a really good pick into all the ticks um, and they've just been like really aggro the whole time and it's been working out really well for them. Um, so Zulan's gonna hit a pull on Kraken and there's not much Superstar can do at this point like you can kind of stall but even then um, It's just a lot of HP for them to deal with and they can all like one shot his tick head So oh, he actually hits the tick head um, But he's gonna get pinched and that's gonna be it um, And unfortunately for him his teammate does spawn in which usually it'd be good But it's bad because they lose another point um, so I'm starting to think like you might just want to like off yourself <laughs> at a certain point in these games uh, But we do finish fourth, which is our worst game yet this series 
All right, guys, game number five. Um, at this point, I realized that we're not like doing too good overall. So I knew we had to like have a really good game. Um, and it's the map where there's no boxes, which I kind of like because it's less RNG, right? Um, so if we didn't place well, um, you know, Ash would, her day would probably be ruined. So I, I wanted to step up this game. Um, and we're going with 8-Bit and Gene. 8-Bit is my main for showdown, but usually there's extra life. It's like very forgiving, which I like. So I'm going to be really aggro here and I'll take out the Gene and then I'll take out the Penny as well, I think, hopefully. So the Penny is generous enough to just walk away from the tick. And like I said, power-ups are really valuable here because there's none on the map. So, you know, even though I'm slow 8-Bit, I really want to get this. <laughs> so I will take, I think, a few... And, you know, it's actually, like, really dangerous. I don't know if that was worth it, to be honest. But I'm going to, like, slowly walk over. And I almost get, like, taken out 300 HP. Um, but I do manage to survive with the power-up for a little longer. And these guys think we're still down there in the grass. So we kind of just rotate around to this side of the map. And we see Squashy getting pinched. And, you know, uh, that's my favorite target. Squashy and Zuland. <laughs> so I'm going to... Oh, I think I take out the tick here. Uh, I don't know. I take out someone here. So Ash is going to be going down pretty low. Uh, there's not anywhere else we could really go there. So it's a good Brock super, but, you know, I kind of have to take the damage. And I just want Ash to, like, get back in. And we can hold position because we do have position on the map right now. And, you know, nobody has a significant... I think we have the most power-ups on the map. Or, like, we're tied for it. Yeah, we have the most power-ups on the map. So, um, well, I do. So I know that I have really good burst. And everyone's just kind of, like fighting each other so i'm gonna go over and try pinching and stealing some kills and i'll get the tick and then i'll take out the gene as well i think yeah i take out the gene and then it's showdown um so i'm a big 8-bit at this point ash is gonna get a good pull she'll uh trade pulls with kraken i'm there to finish him off and then i almost get the brock but i do get taken out uh, good shots from the brock so ash just kind of has to hold it down now for 15 seconds um and she's doing a good job. She just has to stall because when I get back in, I like, I can just auto in <laughs> like pretty much. I don't, and you guys can see me miss when I get back in, but Ash just has to hang on and she hung on long enough. And then she'll pull Kraken for me and I'll just drop my shield or my turret as a shield. And you can see me aim and I miss. Um, so then I just fall back to auto aiming. And I think we got like six kills that game or something. So we got 10 points uh, alone from that game which is all we got last week before. So that was definitely our best game yet in the league. Yeah, guys, that is going to be it for uh, the Duo Showdown gameplay. Team Puffins, uh, we're on the come up. Don't worry. Next week, you know, we're only improving. So I'm excited for the following week. And they do allow 8-bit now. So I can actually do something. But uh, yeah, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace.